Hi, everyone. So uh, I am Aishwarya Ayer and I'm a software engineer in the PowerPoint team. Basically, uh, the reason for this call today is because uh, since our last community call update in September last year, we've been doing a bunch of stuff, uh, shipping new APIs and progressing APIs through different channels. So just wanted to jump in, give you all a quick update of what's going on and uh, also ask you all to play with the existing APIs and give us feedback. Uh, we also have owner from my team who is a software engineer and he'll and uh, Amit uh, who is a program manager who are in the call and they would help answer any questions that you may have along the way. So uh, what's been happening since our last call in September? So in that call we presented the insert slides from Bay64 API which was uh, in the preview channel that time. Now early in Jan this year we've been uh, uh, we've pushed that to GA. And uh, we've also pushed it along with a bunch of other slides, uh, which include uh, the ability to a bunch of other APIs, which include the ability to delete slides, as well as some uh, APIs to access the slide collection and get the various slide objects and metadata on the slide object. And the official documentation link is here, and it has a very uh, good detail of how to use the API and various examples. After that, we've been uh, working to push out the different APIs in set 1.3, and uh, most of them are in the preview channel since a couple of weeks now. And uh, we would love if you could uh, play around with the APIs in the set and give us feedback. So what are the categories of APIs in the set? One is uh, it has a bunch of uh, APIs for slide management, which means that in 1.2, we provided basic slide collection APIs where you could get like the ID of the slide, the count of the slides in the deck and so on. But in this version, you get uh, some more sophisticated data points. For example, you will get the ability to retrieve all the slide masters on the deck and also the different layouts on the various slide masters. And you will also be able to get what is the current slide master of the of any slide in your deck. So basically all of the retrieval APIs around the template of your deck as well as the theme of your slide, we've released that. Apart from that, we also added another API for adding slide. This API basically lets you add a new slide into the deck at the end of the existing slide collection. And today by default, it, uh, you can only add at the end of the collection, but soon we would also be uh, releasing the ability to add it at any position in the slide where you can specify the position. But what's special about this add slide API is that you will be able to specify the slide master and the slide layout that you want the new slide to be of. So it's an optional param, so it's up to you. Like if you have custom templates that you want to apply on newly added slides, you would be able to use that. Again, like all this is very well documented in here. I just wanted to make sure that everyone is aware of stuff that's uh, already available for the public to try out. And uh, we also added a list of shape collection APIs where you will be able to get access to the number of shapes on each slide and then the ID and other metadata of shapes. So you will be able to pull, uh, basically these are all getter APIs where you'll be able to pull shape metadata out and uh, display it. In the next round of APIs, which are not yet on preview, but currently under development, that's where we would be providing shape manipulation APIs. In 1.3, we also have another set of tag collection APIs which are not yet on preview, but they will be, they are on their way and should be there in a couple of weeks. So tags are basically custom key value pairs that you can associate to different levels on the presentation. So you can add custom tags to your uh, presentation or to your slides or to your shapes. So we've also added like a bunch of APIs to add, delete and retrieve tags at various levels on the deck. This is on its way to preview. We will so be on the lookout for it. Now I also wanted to quickly give you a glimpse of uh, what we are working on currently. So this is not yet documented anywhere or this is just like to give you all a feel of uh, what to expect in the near future, probably in a couple of months. And they are basically more additions to the shape collection APIs. So the ones in preview today are getters on the shape collection, but the new APIs that you're working on are basically for manipulating the shape collection. So you'll be able to add, delete, and retrieve shapes based on their type. We're also working on a set of customer data and custom XML APIs. 
basically customer data is so that you can again add key value pairs storing uh, different customer data values in your deck and uh, you also have custom xml to store other data in xml format and we are also working on uh, building a bunch of text range and text based apis to manipulate them and retrieve them and a couple of apis on selecting slides and shapes so yeah that is basically a quick summary of what we have i also created a simple demo on my local server i since the apis that i just spoke about are very well documented and a lot of them are getters so i'm not going to like go into each and every one of them since they are pretty straightforward but i'll probably just walk you through a couple and also i did it on my local server just so that i can show the various the apis on various channels at the same time so uh, let's start with a simple uh, delete slide api that i spoke about this delete slide api is present on the slide object so once you iterate and get to the slide object you can call the delete function so for the demo if i just enter uh, slide 2 which is a zero based index 1 so this is a slide index zero based index 1 so uh, out of the four three uh, out of the blue slides that were present you can see that one of them went away and that was uh, the slide that i deleted so basically it's a very uh, simple api the other apis that i spoke about let me just show you what i mean by uh, the slide master and slide layout. So this API, so all I'm doing in the back is basically just calling presentation.slidemasters and just uh, rendering it. So this says what slide masters are present. So as you can see, there are two themes on this deck right now, and there's also another uh, slide master present. So we are listing them out. You'll, we also have APIs to show the slide layout information. Let me show that as well. So because the slide layout is present on the slide master, if I provide the slide uh, master index, so we saw that there were three masters. So now you can see all of the layouts that are present here. And when I say layout, I mean all of these values here. So when you do an add slide, you will be able to specify which layout you want, which presentation that you, uh, you want to apply on the new slide. Let me also run a simple add slide example. So by default, you, you don't have to specify anything. All the params are uh, optional. So if you don't do anything and just click add new, so it just adds a new slide at the end of the presentation and it follows the template of the previous slide. If you want, you can also specify the master. So right now I'm just gonna specify uh, one of the ones that we just saw some time back. So as you can see, master index one, there were two slide masters with the blue theme. So you can see that I was able to add it with the specified theme. So yeah, so since these are like super simple APIs, I, I'm just doing like a super simple walkthrough of the APIs here. Insert template is not really a new API. It's the insert slide using base 64. I just added it in case uh, I wanted to add a new, uh, new template while I demo. But since we already have some custom templates here, I'm not doing that again. And then we also have APIs at the different level, like slide, shape, and presentation. This API is a bit slow on my server, but basically what it does is it tries to add a key value pair. So I'm just putting like a sample key and a sample value. So it goes in and adds it and it displays the value here, but I have I noticed that my server is running a bit slow this morning, so you're not able to see it, but it's again like another very simple retrieval API where uh, a key value pair would have been added on the slide object. Yeah, it's, it's a simple get API, so there's not really much. I can just show you the code here. So for the tags collection, so basically what it does is, what I was displaying was the tags on the slide level. Then uh, I also had code to render the count of the slides, count of the tags on the slide. And, uh, Basically, I was looping through them and displaying the key and the value. So it was super simple. So that is pretty much it. I just wanted to, uh, this this uh, presentation was mainly so I can make the community aware of what we've been doing in the last couple of months since September. So yeah, please go ahead and try uh, the APIs on our various channels and give us feedback if you have any. And that's it. Thank you. Cool.
Thanks, Aishwarya. That's really great information. Thank you.